Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Today I'm going to um, do a review of these and just show them to you. If you've ever seen them, I'll explain what they are in the video. But what I forgot to say when I made it was that they, I am not sponsored in any way to talk about these. Um, thank, oh, before I start this video, I want to thank everybody for their best wishes and, and so forth. Um, today is Wednesday, but I got married on Saturday. That's my ring. Um, and it was a wonderful day. Uh, we had a really fantastic time. So I'm now Mrs. Evans. And Dave and I are very happy and excited that we are married. But um, there is one small thing that's gone wrong since the wedding. And that is that the best man gave us both the most hideous respiratory illness. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've spent a few days with the wrong sort of feverish feelings. And, um, yeah. So I've decided just to do a little video for you because... Well, why not? But if, if I sound croaky or weird, uh, do forgive me. And this is just honestly just a quick thing to uh, give you a bit of fun. And it is a video for these. Um, now, my Amazon account describes them in about 20 words. But basically, I think they're lace type clip cookie stamp mould fondant things. <laughs> it goes on and on and believe it or not I got 10 of these for £1.43 pence, including shipping which is just ridiculous isn't it and I've, I've looked on Amazon in the US I think they're about $12 but you can get them on AliExpress for $3 something I think so look around you must be able to get them cheaper than $12 and um I thought I would just show them to you because you're probably going to see them somewhere and you might wonder if they'll work with polymer clay or what they're like. So I've got some dark scrap here and we'll start out with some simple ones. And what they've done is you get 10 in all, but you can kind of almost arrange a lot of them into pairs. So these are the same shape, but they're arranged in a different way. And what they do is so that you can make the gap bigger or smaller, you have this little band. And that, I don't even know if I showed you that properly. So this little band holds them a certain distance apart. I'm going to give them a quick spritz just with water. I do find they like to stick to the clay a little bit. And then you can, whoops, and then you can press them into the clay. And I like to do it away from me. And then I can see where I'm joining up the dots for the next print because they do sort of stick into the clay they almost they almost perforate it you have to be a little bit careful I'm notoriously heavy-handed actually and look you can see it's it's quite fun and I'll do these I've tried them without spritzing them with some people push things into powder, don't they? But I, I don't know what would happen then. Whoops, a bit shaky. I've had a temperature for like three days. There you go. And they're quite fun. And they're some of the more boring ones. So I'll put those out of the way. £1.43. It's ridiculous, isn't it? I'll push these. I like to keep mine quite close together. Polymer clay is quite a small. You usually have quite small patterns, don't you? Oh, I messed that one up. I suppose you could leave a, a gap if you wanted. You don't have to um, do them all the same way. Oh, I messed that one up. Okay, so <laughs> it's possible to push them the wrong way sideways like I did there. But again, they're quite sweet. And I'll show you the one that goes with that. This is one of my favourite ones, actually. I'll do it down the edge. Now, these would definitely require practice, and I only started doing them today. So. And in fact, if you staggered this one, you did it correctly. You could almost do a sort of dragon scale with it. I think if you took the band off, you could use one side on its own. 
and I would use that to make a dragon scale. This isn't the best advert for these. I'm really not. I'm not high functioning today. <laughs> but there you are. Okay, let's pop that back on. So you can take it off if you need to. I'm going to try some of the others on the black. Now these are nice, uh, just gentle curves. These face one another, they go in the same direction. Less useful, I think, that really, but you never know. And I, I think perhaps these would be um, a good edging for a pendant or a bowl. I didn't spread that one, but it perfectly worked perfectly well. This is one that I don't find particularly useful. It's a heart shape, but it doesn't close up properly, if you can see that. So even if I push it together, beyond what they're telling you to do, it doesn't really close up. <laughs> So it makes a rather a rubbish heart. I'll try not to. Hang on. Yeah, that's that's to me that is just not great. But this uh, pointed end of it could be useful on its own. And that one, that part of it, without the top, could be useful. And last but not least, we have this one. This is the jazziest of all the, of all of them. Let me just run this through the pasta machine again. The wedding was absolutely lovely. Well, um, in the registry office where we got married, we had to. Um, it's quite a horrible concrete building, and you have to go out and uh, walk across the square and have your photos done outside the town hall, which is historical and. Wonderful, uh, wonderful, and visible, in fact, in one of my other videos where I introduced my fiancé. So, um, when I arrived at the registry office, it was pouring with rain, so we thought we won't be able to go over and get our photos done at the hall. And then, when we got inside, we were told there were protesters on the town hall steps. So, there was absolutely no way that we are going to be able to have our photos done there. Well, by the time we came out of the wedding, the rain had stopped and the protesters had gone. So that was handy. And that's how that one looks. And that's a tiny bit odd, isn't it? Again, I can do it on its own. I don't know if you heard my doorbell go then, but Dave's dealt with it. So there you have it. These are a lot of fun for £1.50. You can't really go wrong. £1.43, you can't really go wrong. Um, so if you've ever been curious about them, that's what they look like. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching and hopefully my next video I won't be ill and it'll be a better video. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you very much and thank you for all your good wishes for our wedding. Bye bye.